Hey guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to week six of the GBA D League. Today, we are bringing you the uh, team builder. I'm aware today is Sunday and not Saturday, so I apologize for bringing that um, or bringing this video to you a little bit late. Um, yesterday, I pretty sure I died um, from being hungover um, but I also did a smash tournament playing smash hungover the reaction times just drop completely it's not a good idea um, still came fourth though so not too bad um, but this week back to Pokemon we are up against the Montreal Hub Souls managed by Asta who many of you GBA fans will be um, very aware of who he is and how disgusting his draft is he's also unbeaten at this point he is 5 and 0 oh, so there is an extra incentive um, I have accepted that there is no way I'm getting into playoffs this season um, so it's all for a bit of fun and experience now um, obviously I'm still going to take games seriously because I want to get as many wins as possible but 1 in 4 isn't uh, the best uh, record exactly and I don't want to be remembered for that guy who did absolutely awful um, in the D-League that season so trying to get some wins where we can However, this week is going to be really hard because, like I said, Asta is unbeaten so far. I have put his team up on the uh, screen here. He has got Thunderous Incarnate, Salamence, Infernape, Cresselia, Metagross, Decidueye, Umbreon, Quillfish, Piloswine, Mega Blastoise, and Zangoose. Um, huge threats on his team. Thunderous Salamence, Infernape as an offensive core is absolutely gross. He's then got Umbreon, Cresselia, um, Mainly as his bulk, he's got Decidueye there. Corfish can be kind of bulky as well. Metagross is bulky. Um, Salamence can be bulky. Mega Blastoise is like bulky offense. Piloswine is bulky offense. There's lots of bulk, and there's lots of scary offense too in this team. Um, I think the main thing that most people would worry about coming up against Aster's team is the Cresselia. I am well equipped for um, Cresselia in my draft, but I know he's going to ring it because it's his best answer for the Megalopony outside of the Quillfish. Um, otherwise, I'd say our teams are a pretty even matchup, you know. Um, I don't think it's anyone's particular favour, but I'd say we've both got things which kind of screw each over, uh, screw each of us over. So, rather than just sort of hanging around, we'll just get straight into the team. Um, first up, we are going to go into the Volcarona, Burb the Volcarona. Um, this thing at plus one, um, obviously without speeders team other than Scarfers um, or. Well, yeah, other than Scarfers. Um, I am Lumberry because we are running that in case he brings Prankster Thunder Wave on the Thunderous as a way of stopping my Volcarona. It could be a backup plan in case one of his Scarfers dies. Very much expect him to bring Scarfed Ape, Scarf Ments, Scarf Thunderous because um, they're the only ones that can outspeed my Volca plus one. Um, for coverage, Fire Blast hits a lot of his team super effective um, and just neutrally, so Thunderous won't take a good amount. Um, the Cresselia obviously won't take a Bug Buzz, Metagross won't take a Fire Blast, Decidueye won't take a Fire Blast, Umbreon won't like a Bug Buzz, um, Quillfish won't like Psychic which is what we've got running, Fernape won't like Psychic which we've got running, um, Piloswine won't like a Fire Blast even with Thick Fat on there, um, it's not much you can do back to us unless he's running something like Rock Tomb, um, Zangoose will get outspeared and, and just die to a Bug Buzz I would imagine. Mega Blastoise won't like a switch into one of these moves either, and if I can get Quiver Dancers up, chances are I can take some some water moves decently well. So um, that's kind of like the coverage. The one thing that can switch in, I say can, is Salamence if he's like Spadef. Um, but even then, plus one Psychic uh, to like an offensive Mence does about 60%. So if I can get a little bit of chip damage and keep Stealth Rocks up on the field. Um, then that Salamence is going to be in range and we're going to be looking pretty with this thing. Um, we are running obviously standard max speed, max special attack, 1 in or 4 EVs and HP, purely because then we can run the risk of a speed tie with a Scarf Salamence if I need to. Um, he's got something like Scarf Infernape, Scarf Thunderous, obviously I need to be at plus 2, but if I get to plus 2, um, I'm then like free to, to go, I'm ready to sweep through his team. Um, but I don't think he'd let me do that because Aster's a good player. So um, we can dream, but um, Volcarona is looking very scary this game. Um, next up, we have got the Lopany. Um, I've now got a front office helping me build, and so we both agree. So that's um, that's a, a good thing because uh, like being less stressful about building was beautiful. Um, but we've gotten the Mega Lop, and the first thing that most people raised was Mega Lop cleans up his team with. 
um, dual priority quite easily once things are weakened. Um, obviously, minus the Cresselia. Um, Megalop is kind of walled by Cresselia anyway, so there's no harm in me not bringing Return. Um, we did look at the calcs between Ice Punch and Return. Um, Ice Punch is there purely obviously because of the Salamence. It just does more. It still kills this Ments at uh, minus one from full health, even if I'm uh, if he's an offensive one. After Rocks, I think a defensive one still dies unless he has the um, the Ice Berry, uh, the Yachi Berry. That's the one. Uh, otherwise, Fake Out and Quick Attack, um, like can nearly take out the Infernape, nearly take out the Thunderous. Um, High Jump Kick does a good match to the Metagross. High Jump Kick will obviously kill the Infernape. Um, Salamence is a good switch in if he predicts my High Jump Kick. Um, Decidueye can't switch into High Jump Kick and then Ice Punch. Umbreon obviously can't switch in because the High Jump Kick. Quillfish is a problem. Um, we have got ways of dealing with the Quillfish, so it's not too much of an issue. Pilot Swine obviously can't take a High Jump Kick. Mega Blastoise won't take one very well, and Zangoose can't take one anyway. Um, plus, I'm pretty sure Zangoose, after Toxic Orb, won't appreciate Fake Out plus Toxic plus Quick Attack. Um, if he's not done already, then have toxic. So, um, fake out quick attack is a nice little bit of a priority sort of revenge killing there. Um, like I said, ice punch is pretty much there just for the salamence because return doesn't really do anything else to his team, um, which high jump kick doesn't already hit. And then uh, quick attack is there for the second bit of priority. EV wise, we've got max attack adamant because his fastest thing on this draft is the thunderous. Um, if he brings any Scarfer, it's going to outspeed me if I'm max speed Jolly anyway. Um, so there's not really much point in me bringing a Jolly set. And I believe the speed EVs are enough just to outspeed a normal max speed Timid or Jolly Thunderous Incarnate. So really simple stuff, but really effective this game. If the Cresselia goes down, he's really going to struggle um, with this Megalopony, basically. But I have mentioned already that my team doesn't mind too much about Cresselia. And we're going to get into, well, the second thing, because obviously we have got the uh, Volcarona with Bug Buzz. Um, even at, like, plus one, I think Cresselia, Max Spideff Cresselia might be able to take a plus two Bug Buzz, which is absolutely gross, because Cresselia is gross. Um, but we have also got something to hit it on the physical spectrum, which is the Crocodile. We are running Crunch, Torn, Earthquake, Stealth Rocks. Um, the reason we're running Crunch over Knockoff is for the um, higher sort of damage output on the long run, because Crook can take on the uh, Cresselia pretty well. Obviously, Cresselia will be running Moonblast or Ice Beam um, just to hit this, to hit my Latias, um, to hit the uh, Lopini as well. I know it gets Psychic, but lots of things on my team can switch into Psychic moves, i.e., Registeel if I bring it. Um, the I can't even think what this thing's called, Latias, that's the one, it's too early in the morning, um, and the Crocodile. So, um, it's very much expecting that, but still, the Crunch will do a lot of damage. I've got Taunt, obviously Taunt will stop any of his Hazard Setters, um, although, you know, it's not going to be Infernape because I'm pretty sure it's one of his Scarfers. Uh, Metagross could be, but um, if he keeps Metagross in against a Crocodile, he'll pretty manly anyway. Um, so it stops that. I can Defog the Decidueye to stop the Roost to stop the Defog. Umbreon, again, great Taunt fodder because obviously I can just stop it from wishing, stop it from protecting. Coolfish, um, unless he runs a speedy one, I'll be able to Taunt and stop him from setting up his Toxic Spikes. Um, if he decides to bring it. Pilot Swine again, you know, Taunt, stop him getting Stealth Rocks up. Um, so Taunt is a really good move this week. Earthquake is just like generally good um, coverage, obviously Stab as well. Um, it, it hits, well it doesn't hit Thunderous, doesn't hit Infernape, doesn't hit Crest, but those things don't appreciate crunches either. Um, otherwise, you know, it, it hits Mega Super effectively. You know, you can switch into Sidra if he wants, but Crunch is going to do a lot of damage. Um, Earthquake's going to be doing a good amount of damage to Umbreon if he's not for his death. Obviously, Quillfish won't like an Earthquake. Pilot Swine won't appreciate an Earthquake, but also won't take too much. Again, Mega Blastoise won't like it, and Zangoose is Zangoose. While it's incredibly powerful offensively, defensively, can't do much. And then I'll ask me for Stealth Rocks, because while obviously he does have things that are um, immune to the ground, it's because they're flying types. So Thunderous is weak to rocks, Salamence is weak to rocks, chip damage on Cres Cresselia, Infernape. Uh, Metagross doesn't really care about them. Um, I mean, he only has two things weak to rocks, but rocks do chip his team down neutrally, like throughout the rest of them, other than Metagross. So it's a free 12% or 25% most of the time. So Stealth Rocks are quite crucial this game as well. Um, we are max attack, uh, kind of like a bulky speedy variant. Um, I am running uh, this 108 HP to give me as much HP as possible because I believe I speed crept. Max speed Mega Blastoise, and um, what I will tell you now, without spoilers, is Aster in his team building um, with one of his Mons has 
speed crept this crocodile by one because he knew I was going to outspeed. Uh, I was going to prep to outspeed his Mega Blaster, so he ran him on with 145 speed to kill my crook because he knew I tried outspeed the max speed uh, Mega Blaster. So that is like ultimate team building mind games right there but you know that's what good team builders and good players do so um back to our team this is their crocodile he's gonna have a good roll um not sure if he's gonna be you know cleaning up at all but he's gonna be getting good chip damage off he's gonna be taunting things he's gonna be getting stealth rocks and again it's something that Cresselia can't really can't really stay in against especially if i get some defense drops that'd be quite nice too um next up we're gonna go into latias um pretty straightforward set i think really considering his team uh, dragon pulse roost raw shadow ball um, we're going max uh, for his death because that really means inferno can't do anything U turns the strongest and I think it does 40% max um, if he's adamant scarfed if he's not um, I'm not going to speed creep this thing but you know uh, every time that AS comes in he has to switch inferno out pretty much because he can't really kill me and I'll kill him with uh, a potential psychic which I don't have um, but he's also not a Z move user. I believe a Z user is, yeah, it's Ments and Coolfish. Um, so he's not a Z move user, so he can't hit me with a Savage Spin Out, um, which is really nice. So Fizz Death is like my answer to his Infernape. Dragon Pulse, Roost, Raw, Shadow Ball, like I said. Dragon Pulse hits his whole team. Um, he has no fairy. He has no fairy. Um, he doesn't have a fairy, so Dragon Pulse can hit everything. Um, Maybe not for much. Uh, the only thing which, I mean, Umbreon is a free switch into this thing anyway, regardless of what moves you bring. Um, CGI, again, it's fat, but won't appreciate it. And I do have the Shadow Ball as well. Metagross, again, can bring it in, but he, uh, I have the Shadow Ball. Cress, obviously, I can hit with a Shadow Ball and Dragon Pulse, but I I'm not thinking he'll bring a set up Cresselia this week because I do have the Clefable in my draft. Um, I do have multiple things which can hit it super effective, um, so I'm not expecting it, but I am, like I said, expecting it. Um, and Dragon Pulse and Shadow Ball will just get good chip damage off onto his three main offensive threats at the start of his draft. So, um, Raw is there in case he is um, a setup Cresselia, which, you know, he could still bring, because if um, Clefable goes down, I then have very little to deal with offensive Clefable, uh, not Clefable, sorry, offensive Cresselia. So, Raw is kind of like a fail safe, and it also, like, you know, He's got DD Ments, um, Nasty Plotting Thunderous, Nasty Plotting Infernape, Swords Dance Infernape, Flame Charge Infernape, Bulk Up Infernape, Calm Mind Infernape, Calm Mind Cresselia, um, Meteor Mashing, Power Up Punching Metagross, Nasty Plotting, Swords Dancing, Baton Passing, Decidueye, Wish Passing, Umbreon, um, lots of setup mons basically, which need phasing if they get out of hand, so I needed Raw, I learnt my lesson after my game versus um, versus Dan so I definitely decided to bring it this week and the EVs like I said are quite self-explanatory because it's here to take on the Infernape. Uh, next up we have got the Clefable. We are Moonblast, Wish, Protect, Calm Mind. Um, this is definitely the set me and the, my front office sort of deliberate, I can't even think what the word is now, deliberated, is that the one? For, talked about the most because um, he really can't deal with offensive Clefable too well. Uh, Metagross is his best answer. We toyed between Cosmic Power and Calm Mind. I think at plus 6, Choice Band of Meteor Mash does 40% uh, from an adamant Metagross, which is quite funny. But the problem is, can we get set up that high? Max Defense, we can take like 1 Meteor Mash, unless it is Choice Banded. Um, I don't think he will be if he brings Metagross. I'm very much expecting it, because it's his best way outside of Gunk Shot. Um, Infernape, Sludge Wave and Thunderous um, to, to kill me. Uh, oh, and a Quillfish, obviously, as well. So, um, looking at his team, obviously, he has got the Quillfish. He's got the um, Metagross, which can all take Moonblast. But if I get to the theoretical situation of plus six, plus six, it still does half to them, um, which is nice. Uh, but the problem is I need Metacross to be gone, ideally, before I can start setting up with this thing. Wish Protect is nice. Protect will um, kind of, like, scout for Z-moves, because obviously if he has Z-Iron Tail and Salamence, I can scout that out and not take much damage, and then to kill me, he has to run the risk of missing another Iron Tail, and I can kill him off with Moonblasts. Um, Wish will help with the uh, 
longevity of the uh, the crocodile and the burb, uh, the Volcarona, and if I really want to, the Lopony as well. Um, and actually, my last one, which we'll go over in a second, um, it can help with that too. And like I said, protect if he's like Scarfed and Fennec, for example, we can scout what move he's going to go for, um, and that'll work out quite well. Um, but it's quite a straightforward set. I know on paper it looks a bit weird, but if I can get rid of a Metagross or a Quillfish, um, and I can set up on something like the Blastoise, um, the Infernape if he's choiced, if he's like going for Flare Blitz and stuff, um, let him kill himself while I just wish Protect Calm Mind my way up. Um, even Mence can struggle uh, if he hasn't got the Iron Tail, so that's kind of cool. Um, and he's also got the Thunderous as well, which if he, I mean, if I can get a Calm Mind up, I'll be taking hits quite well anyway, unless he's like a, a random physical set, but even then, I'm max death, so. We've got a few setup opportunities on this thing. Just need to try and get rid of that Metagross um, as soon as possible, or the, or the uh, Quillfish if he does decide to bring it. Final Mon on the team, um, and sadly, it's the last time you'll ever be seeing this thing because there are some transfers I have made. Um, definitely will raise some eyebrows because they're pretty bad, but they're pretty spicy at the same time. And we like spice here at Norris Kitty, so um, making his final appearance um, for the Norris Kitty, we have got an Assault Vested. Um, Delmise, uh, Shadow Claw, Power Whip, Rapid Spin, Hidden Power, Ice, um, Max Attack, 4 in speed, I'm running a Brave Nature because I can't outspeed anything on his draft anyway, and it just lets me hit with the special uh, Hidden Power Ice a little bit harder, um, Max HP just to help with the lifespan and uh, 252. Yes, I did um, fix the IVs to 31 in both by Super Training, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, basically, he has very little for Shadow Claw. I think he might actually have no switch-ins other than the... Well, Zangoose because it's immune, but I'm not expecting to bring Zangoose. Um, and the Umbreon, which doesn't like Power Whip. I think Max Defense might still take like half from Power Whip, which is scary. Um, going on to Power Whip, it does hit... A, I mean, obviously Infernic resists, Salamence resists, Thunderous resists, Megaris resists, Decidueye resists. But then when he gets the lower spectrum of his team, Mega Blastoise, Pylosmine, Coolfish, Umbreon, it does hit all of them quite hard. Um, so I needed that just kind of for the pure power. Rapid Spin was necessary because obviously I do have the Volcarona. Um, otherwise, the rest of my team doesn't really care about rocks. He resists rocks. She resists rocks. Um, I am not Magic Guard, but you know, it's not only neutral for them too, and neutral for my um, Delmise. Um, Hidden Power Ice is there because my... On paper, my thought process was his best switch in is his Salamence, and if I can bop him with a Hidden Power Ice, even if it's neutral, it doesn't do too much, but it's a free 60%. And that then forces him to Roost, or um, it forces him to pop a Z move, pop a Z fly if he brings it, um, or uh, I can kill him with another one on the next turn if he unless he decides to Roost, obviously. But it'll put him in a really bad predicament. Again, he might think Thunderous is a good switch. Thunderous won't take a Shadow Claw very well anyway, but Hidden Power Ice again will do some decent damage. Um, he might try and then play around with Crest, but obviously Shadow Claw is going to do huge damage. Infernape just purely can't switch in. I think even a Power Whip probably does something like half. That's not off a calc, that's just off the top of my head. Um, I'll probably do a decent amount. Um, Metagross can't take Shadow Claw. Decidueye can't take Shadow Claw. Umbreon won't take Power Whip. You know, just on paper, this thing hits his team incredibly hard. Um, and if we can get some chip damage off with this thing, or even just, you know, get some big old hits and break his walls, um, the better. But, you know, it's kind of main priority here is just to get rid of rocks. Because Volcarona can ideally do more work than Stellmice can in the long run. So, um, that's pretty much it for the team. Um, game will be up shortly after this. Um, I just need to agree a time with Asta to upload it. Um, I still need to record it anyway. So, uh, yeah, that will be up soon after this video. So, thank you for watching this episode, guys. Make sure you check out for the GBA video of the transfers because I'm pretty sure it's just me who's made transfers. I made them purely because um, I'm saying this now before people beat me for it. Um, I'm not going to be in the playoffs. Uh, regardless of what the result of this match is. Um, I want to experiment with some new mons, maybe some mons which are ones that you don't see too often, um, and it will also help me understand whether I want to draft them in the future or not, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll definitely see how the transfers work going forward, but first of all, we've got the game versus Astro to look forward to. So thank you for watching this uh, short team builder, guys. I say short, it's nearly 20 minutes long. I have rambled. Um, I look forward to seeing you for the game a bit later on, um, and I'll see you later. Bye.